Hey there everybody, Big Tim here, and welcome to Spooky Chronicles. It's where I tell you about some of my ghost stories and things happening in the night, demons, whatever else you think they are, would call them. Um, I have a lot of experiences, you know, some of them are just normal things moving around, twisting and turning. They're not scary, but when you're in the moment, you're like, what the hell's going on? But this story I'm going to tell you is probably the scariest that I've had in any time. Um, this is before I moved into this house. I came over for like, a party. We were just here having fun and stuff. I ended up you know, drinking way too much, and I fall asleep in my bed. It's like 12 o'clock at night, and all of a sudden, I wake up to me being like, choked. Like, I'm getting choked. It feels like someone's choking me. Like, I could have been choking on my own spit, and just in my head, it felt like someone's having their hand around my throat, but literally, it felt like someone's hand was on my throat, and I couldn't breathe. Finally, I got out of it somehow, and I wake up, like, in a panic. I get up in a panic, and I look at my door, and it's closed, but the light in the hallway is on. I see someone standing by my doorway. I was like, what the hell is going on? Who the fuck is out there? And I come up to it. I listen, I hear someone talking and shit like that, I like, maybe the TV's on. I open the door, I see nothing. And uh, these guys have a little girl and she sleeps like almost adjacent to my room where she did before ghost happened, started happening now because she just stays in there. But uh, she was in there, you know, TVs are all off, it's all dark there, so I walk out. I look in there and see someone run from her room all the way out to the living room. I was like, oh shit, what the hell is going on? Now look in the room and see if there's anything in there, you know, I don't see anything, anything. So I go into the living room and uh, uh, my roommate didn't just sleep in the door. So I, I, hope, I flip on the light to see where, you know, their, their kid was just to make sure she was alright. I turn on the light and there's no one in the living room and the door's closed. I didn't hear a door open or close or anything. And now I'm here now. I'm getting scared like a mofo. I mean, this shit had me tripping balls. And I come back to my room and I'm sitting down. All of a sudden I start hearing some shit in the fucking garage, like banging and going crazy and stuff. And then I hear the, like, the door in the garage is pretty heavy. Like, you have to kind of pull it and when you let it go, it just slams shut. All I hear is freaking door just slams. Like, hard. I'm fucking freaking out now. My door is open. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm staying out in the living room. So I got into the living room. You know, they had little puppies in a, in a playpen. They're watching some puppies. And, like, they heard me go in there. And they're all quiet. And all of a sudden, like, I hear something coming from the hallway. Like, someone's stepping. And they just started barking like crazy. The little puppies going off nuts and shit. I sat there fucking freaking the fuck out. Like, what the hell is going on, man? <laughs> I've never been so scared in my life of ghosts. Like, I mean, I honestly was scared. Like, nothing's ever really touched me the way you could around me. Like, they just kind of, like, do stuff there, like, my chair and all that sort of stuff. And one of the ghosts that we named Jeffrey, he never really did anything bad. He was just always, he was just a creepy dude. Like, he was always pushing stuff down and moving around, and he moved with us to house to house. This thing, like, was, A, it felt like it was a big motherfucker, and B, it, like, was choking the shit out of me. Like I honestly felt like I was gonna choke. Like I never, like I don't know what it's called. Where like you get, it's not sleep apnea, but it's like you choke it on your own skin. And you your mouth fills up with water and you choke out. I mean, I don't have any of that shit or anything. I usually sleep pretty good, but yeah, this was just insane. So I'm in the living room. You know, dogs are barking and everything. I'm fucking. My face is all pale. You can tell that I'm scared. The first roommate, she walks out. She sees me, she's all scared too because the dogs are all going off and she's like, what's going on? I was like, those dogs are barking at me. I don't know what the hell they're barking at, you know? And then they have Matt, uh, my other roommate, he comes out and he's like, you all right, man? I was like, yeah, I just been choked. I'm fucking scared. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm going to sleep out here. So I end up going to sleep. But the whole night, I'm telling the chair that I was sleeping on the, like, was right next to the hallway and I don't want to sleep with my feet towards the hallway, because I didn't, never know if he was dragged or what. I mean, that thing touched me. I figured I was going down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get slaughtered that night or something. So I slept with my head towards it that way. You know, the drag was dragging me by my head. <laughs> but the whole night, man, it felt like someone was, like, rubbing my head. Like, like it was sorry or, like, you know, I didn't mean to do that. Or, like, rubbing my head, like, trying to touch my head. And, oh, man. And another moment, this was same time but it was uh, my roommate's birthday also before I moved in and uh, same room this time I was really really drunk. I mean I blacked the hell out and uh, like I had some weird awkward dreams going on and I wake up I had a button up shirt on and, and, uh, and uh, my pants and stuff like that my pants are all unzipped and my shit's hanging out my, my shirt's all unbuttoned and stuff and 
I honestly thought I got raped that night by a fucking ghost. Like, I think I know I did. I got raped by a ghost or something or whatever, man. Because, I, I mean, usually when I pass out, I just pass out, you know. Like, if I, I, I do pass out and wake up, I usually just jump in the shower and I'm fully naked. You know, I'm not like half stuff hanging out or whatever. So either I pass out my clothes on or clothes off wet. I just got out of the shower. Like, I have a weird fixation on that. That's, that's weird in general, too. Yeah, man, I, I just—I was freaking scared. My door was wide open. I mean, like, um, it looked like my I saw him had sex in my bed, and there was, there was no other people out here other than my roommate, my roommates. And, uh, man, I was so scared. I was like, who the hell would ride me while I'm going? Hey, I'm not gonna be able to get it up and be it's just disgusting. You know, don't stop moving. You know what I mean? Like, that's not right. But yeah, this this place is haunted. I hear stuff all the time. Um, and it creeps me out. Sometimes it's okay. Like, I'm not worried about or scared about. It, but sometimes, like when I hear a little girl, like uh, the, the other um, during uh, when we get into another story, uh, during our uh, Super Mario, like me and my roommate were doing Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers, and I went outside to smoke real quick. And uh, I guess he said he felt like I was standing, like he was laying down on my bed and I'm talking on his phone and he thought I was standing over him being, you know, stupid, I was drunk and I used to like, play around like that and stand and hover over people and just like retarded and he thought that was me and he's like, hey, quit it and like he moved his hand over and like he didn't feel nothing. He's like, what the hell? And he said it was like a big dude, like it felt like, it's, like it was a big presence but he thought it was me. And you know, I come in, he's like, hey, let's do this, you know, he's like, what the hell, he's like, you want to in here? I was like, nah, man, I was, I was outside smoking. He's like, dude, I just felt someone standing over me, and he looked, I thought it was you. I was like, oh, that's weird, that's kind of creepy. You know, we go through and play our game, you know, eventually, like, he he takes off to pass out, and I'm sleeping in my bed, and by the foot of the bed, it felt like like a really big dude just standing on my bed. All of a sudden, like, it was normal, and it caves in. All of a sudden, the bed caves in behind me like someone as big is laying down, and that's how it was the rest of the night. Someone was like spooning with me or holding or sleeping me or something. I don't know, but it felt like someone was sleeping right behind me. I was tripping the fuck out, man. I was tripping balls. Cause a, I didn't want to move and piss it off, thinking like I didn't want to sleep with it or whatever. B, I, I mean, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel like anybody was grabbing me. It just the bed was sunk in. Like this was a big motherfucker. Like if anything happened, I would have got my ass kicked that night. That shit had me scared. Like, I didn't want to roll over and see something. I didn't know what to do. Like, I just sit there, like, fucking trying to go to sleep. But I'm scared if I go to sleep, that's the end of me. You never know if you feel some shit like that. Like, <laughs> freaking get the ch chills doing this shit. Talking about that stuff, remember? Oh, man. Yeah, those are a couple stories for you guys. Some spooky chronicles. Um, some of them aren't really spooky. Some of them are just kind of funny. But, I mean, sometimes when you're in that shit, you never know if you Especially when in that in that house that's really haunted. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little spooky chronicle. I'll come back and tell you another series about me up in Scottsdale and this ghost following us around. Until then, check you guys out later.